Wi-Fi. I'm Josie. Welcome back. That's the wrong one. We have a guest device spice here. I'm Josie. Uh, I'm Becca. And I'm Andy. And Justin don't have a camera. We love you, Justin. We have a special guest coming. Yes, special guest coming later in the podcast. Hopefully. Yeah. If she if she can show up. If not, yeah. that's fine. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, but this is messing me up. Alright. Jeez. Oh my god. Alright, and we're back with another cross country chronicles. Woohoo! Blah blah blah. I had to do it. It was too perfect. Mm. Yeah, so. What should we talk about today? Um, we can talk about this boom snake. Yeah, we'll save for a special guest. Okay. Let me fix my microphone real quick. You can still hear it. Relax. Wait, this is really high. I don't chillax. What? I know. But yeah, so we had a special guest. We're all very excited. Very excited. Very excited. No. (laughs) (laughs) No. Come on. Alright. I can't. Oh yeah. I got a question for you guys. Hmm. I can't. If you had to pick between, because I know you do basketball, and I know you do basketball, and I know I do basketball, yes. or at least I would hope I do. Um, if you had to pick between basketball and cross country, Jesus, I can't hear anything. Oh, okay, wait, Eddie's number one. one. Eddie's number one. Is that better? Yep. Okay. Okay. If you had to pick between cross country and basketball, what would you pick? Um... Cross country is just more fun. I feel like it's, it's a, more, a comfort sport, a like better a environment for sure. Yeah, I think it's. I think for me, basketball is just a little bit more, almost a little bit more serious. You know, mm-hmm. and it's not even that sports can't be serious, but I feel like it's also part of team building, <laughs> and um, and there's a, and like I feel like we're better at building up a team in cross country versus doing basketball because. In cross country, you have so much pain when you run and stuff, and mm-hmm. those people around you feel that same amount of, mm-hmm. you know, toughness. It's not like a walking up the court. It's yeah, like it's... A, well, well, I walk up the court. Not all the time. Not all the time. I mean, when I'm playing. I mean, <laughs> asthma kicks. Asthma kicks. But I feel like basketball just kind of, it's really nerve-wracking almost, and then like, I feel like it's your practices, you can almost feel like fun environment, it's kind of tense sometimes, yeah. and like, you kind of almost feel like if you do the lines being something. Mm-hmm. Well, not only that, but you also, like, we're in seventh grade, so we're kind of, we're junior high, so no one really, I wouldn't say no one takes us seriously, because they do, but we, we just kind of are outcasts until proven. But we're not. And then there's, like, people who have, like, older siblings. Mm Mm-hmm. And they're just, like, immediately in there. Except me. (laughs) My older sibling doesn't talk to anybody. (laughs) To be true. Yes, that's true. Hi, Josiah. (laughs) Hi, Avery. I'm the oldest, so... (laughs) I'm lucky. I'm the middle child. I'm the youngest. We got a baby here. I have to watch every single one of my siblings leave me. Yeah. That kind of sounds depressing, though. It, it is. I get to watch it my less like annoying sibling trouble. leave. My, my brother is... I don't uh, never mind. <laughs> he, may, he may watch us. Let's so. go back to things that are not personal. Okay. <laughs> Um, so this might be a back, therapy session. Yeah, mm. Back to Mrs. Boomsma. What are your guys' opinions on her? I I think she's a great coach. I really do. She does a really mm-hmm. good job. She's very, she's very much like she's very energetic, and but at the same time, she's serious enough where you know to take it seriously. Mm-hmm. She gets after the boys. Well, some of the boys when they're not being, yeah, 
overly truthful when they're not like taking things seriously mm-hmm. or just messing around yeah. Like, yeah. hunting in the weeds but at the same time bubbles. but at the same time she knows how to like have fun like she, it's not like some other people where it's just too hard to it's like it's, she's just a really nice person in general and i think that she would be fun to just kind of hang around i feel like she'd be mm-hmm. she um she's like the best muffin maker or was it cup cup cupcake cup yeah. cup yeah. cup yeah. cup she's literally probably like i don't know how to say this i'm kind of blanking right now um you do that a lot i know um eddie you wanna say something I tried to yeah, Miss Bimsma is just a really nice coach. She does a lot of things for the team, mm-hmm. and she just kind of she helps us like, and she knows what she's doing. And you can I tell that some coaches just kind of act like that. They don't know what they're doing, or they're just doing it to do it. Or but she like, acts like she knows. I do what feel she's slightly doing. bad though because she had to deal with the whole Dolan thing that happened the other we'll day. We'll just leave that. At but we but we'll just leave that at that. Yeah. And she's and she's a really good person. Yes. Does she teach? No, she doesn't, but she's very nice. Yeah, I was going to say, nice. I was just trying to figure that out. Yeah. We'll just cut that out. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, she's really nice, and probably, like, she can be strict at, like, when she needs to, like, if people are messing around. If, if Brecken's, you know, running around doing stupid stuff like he does all the time. Or playing silent ball when you should be watching. <gasps> yeah, I mean... She doesn't yell. It's like, she, like, that's she'll, different. Yeah, yeah, she'll give us, like, us. Yeah. Guys, come watch. And then, or like, if, or she, like, if we don't listen, she'll go, like, okay, guys, come on. Or like, like, she'll let us play it, but we have to, like, sit and watch and play it at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, when we, we need to cheer. Like, some of the people, I won't name any people, but they'll sit around at camp and just. And I can understand, phone. like, two or three minutes after you run. Oh yeah, heck yeah. yeah. Just like, sitting just there, like a cool down almost. Yes, but like, but when people if are you're, running. but if it's varsity running, you haven't run as JV. Yeah. We haven't run as junior high. Yeah, I would not think that it's okay to not be cheering because the only people that would be able to not be cheering would be someone who just finished the race. Yes, and or like people are getting ready for a race. Yeah, but like if it's the beginning of the. Race, you should be cheering. Yes, you should be. I mean, I don't know after my first, after my boss do this, I usually just go and almost, like, I'll sit down at camp for maybe a bit, and then I'll go straight away to go watch people. Yes, same. I did that in Heimer. I have this bad habit of when I'm done with a race. (laughs) I'm kind of exposing myself, but when I get done with a race, I don't care how many people tell me to walk. I walk over to camp, and I sit down. I cannot do that. But it also doesn't help that um, the whole reason I do that is because I have to put my head between my between my legs so then I can breathe. So, I mean, I guess it definitely makes a difference. But I was gonna ask you guys, how much does the cheering affect you in a race? I think it makes me ten times better. It yeah, it's so it helps so much because like you know somebody's supporting you, you know you're doing it like you know people know what you're doing, like you know you're getting supported. You're in a good environment. You're, like, ready to run at that. Not only that, but, like, I feel like, and maybe it's just me because um, well, yelling makes me anxious, but it makes me, like, people around me just telling me that I'm doing a good job and keep going, keep going. It just makes me almost a little bit more positive about everything and makes it a little bit easier for me to finish up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very. Addie, what about you? Um, it almost makes you feel like that you're not alone in the race because sometimes, like, there'll be t- people even way behind you or in front of you, and you're just like, I'm kind of alone. Or, like, you mm-hmm. just don't really feel like there's anyone there for Like, you. Washington Springs is, I mean, you'll group up at points, but then you'll just off on your own. Like in Falkton, or in Falkton, I didn't have anyone, like, 200 meters in front or behind me, and I was just kind of alone. Yeah. Yeah. In Warner, it's in Warner, it's kind of like that too. Like until you get to the end of the race, you're just alone. I feel like yeah, and then I feel like the other thing is I love having people like anybody else. Love having people around you for like just hey, if that person is how they run, and I can go that fast the whole race, and I can stay up with them, and then at the end, I can just blah, (laughs) blah. Yeah. But like. 
I think it's nice to have something where, like, you know who you can stick with in a race, and you just kind of focus on that person. You're like, okay, I'll stick with you. And it's funny to me because Peyton and me, so Peyton from the one and me, used to always, because she doesn't, she didn't run this year, but she ran mm. this year, in sixth grade, she, me and her would always just be like, oh, I'm going to stick with you because we're about the same speed. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, they were they were good cross country runners. Like I feel like they they could have ran this year and um, improved. I know why though because it was she didn't want to balance volleyball and cross country. Can we talk about? I'm gonna I'm just more for Addy, and actually no for you too because you're dual sport too. Um, is it hard? Do you think it it's more hard to run with that extra sport? So like you do football and we do volleyball. I think it's harder. F- I feel like it's more. I almost think it's harder for him though because Mr. Op will let us go and we get back by the time yeah. that they start practice. And we, it's kind of we don't. Because you I have to run a town route before practice and yeah, then go so run to a uh, ten minute tw- ten, ten minute run. I think, yeah. right? Yeah, I think the biggest one for me though is the. Uh, um, I hate I hated having to run cross country outside and stuff, and then having to come in and do conditioning in the gym because it's going from being outside where you can like, Breathe. it's fresh air, Breathe, yeah. it's cold versus going inside of a gym where it's hot and sweaty and humid. And Eddie, stuff. how about you? Yeah. Um, it's kind of hard because I didn't have a lot of free time at all. Like yeah. I would get home, I would get back from. Uh, I would get I would get back from cross country like a cross country, and then I would go straight to volleyball practice. You see, I mean, when we had a cross country meet, um, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. When we had a cross country meet, I would not go to practice. I'm not. I I can understand going to practice, but I get so much. I just get like pooped by yeah, the time exhausted. we get back. And I'm just. I don't. And it's not like. And then I think I only missed one game because of my cross country. Yeah, I only missed one. I mean, I missed. I think a meet, a meet because of yeah. I think I missed a meet and uh, okay. I didn't. I didn't miss a meet. I don't think. Yeah, you um, missed Redfield this year. Yeah, that that's different. Oh, yeah. I was from. I missed a meet because I was in Kansas. You guys, did you guys miss it because you guys were doing other sports? No, I, or did I was there. I missed okay. it because I was doing a different sport. No, oh. I think you were doing volleyball, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I was the only seventh grader there. I was in Kansas. And then I didn't miss any other than the one because the rest I... And I definitely think that it's better to prioritize one sport. Even if it's you love both sports, You still I feel like you still need to prioritize one or the other because you can't just like them the same amount and be able to pick between going to one or the other. Yeah. And for me, my priority is just cross country. And... I mean, and some people don't agree, but that's fine. Um, it's just, it's just interesting thinking about it because, like, I don't want to prioritize one sport because I think that they're both great sports, volleyball and cross country. But I feel like if I don't prioritize one, I'm not going to be able to pick because I'm indecisive. Mhm. Yeah. Addie, what is your opinion on the sporting? Um, I always try to just do my book best in both sports and like as i get older if i decide that i don't like a sport anymore then i'll just i just drop it maybe yeah, yeah. like i used to do soccer quite a bit like Same every year. single year i would go on traveling teams i would do that and then after a year i'm just like i can't do this anymore so i just i'm like i'm just not gonna do it next year i remember me and addy one season we went undefeated and got scored on once remember that oh yeah and we weren't even in this thing we were it was a blowout. It was like five to zero, and we put all of like the non-starters in. It was in soccer. You, I don't think you played. Anybody else hear music? Yeah, I hear music. Is it from my kitchen? Yeah. Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm I'm fire um I'm fire seasoning. No, I'm fire seasoning. No ice spice. Fire seasoning. No. 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 Keep running, Ella. We believe in you. <laughs> yes, she's on Mona. She's you a country star. 
But I think it's definitely interesting. And I think having um, Josiah as someone to look up to when doing cross country, he's given me a lot of tips for stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My, none of my parents or gr grandparents even or my siblings ever had ran cross country. My dad, uh, he did track, but he was a shot, shot put and discus thrower. He has the Hitchcock record for shot put and discus. My brother, Josiah, and my sister, Bethany, both ran cross country, but my other sister, Brandon, did not. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, See, my dad was the only one basically in my family to do sports because he did basketball and that was about it. Your dad? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. My oh, dad did a lot. I checked the time. Mm hmm. It's 9 37. What time do we get out? 9 50 50 something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says 9 35. It's 9 37. Yeah. That, yeah. All clocks are off, it seems, almost. Except for one trim. Yeah. And yeah that's you know, people, it could be it could be Thursday and nobody would know because um, cause who first invented the weekdays? They could have just lost track and was like, oh, it's, it's, it's Tuesday today. It really what day is it today? Tuesday? Tuesday? Monday. Monday. What day is it today? Tuesday? <laughs> um... Wasn't Tuesday yesterday? Okay, it's Monday then. Yeah. Like, somebody could have just lost track, and it could be Thursday right now. Like, um... What was I going to say? I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> this all ties back to cross country. Yes, it all does. Don't worry. For like... What's your least favorite weather to run in? Just so know that one time in Webster when it was like all, it was like snow, sleet, rain. It was, rain. Rain. It it was snow, snow, sleet, rain. It was snow, sleet, rain. Hail. It was freezing rain, hail. Mm -hmm. um, and it was windy. Like it was, it was like, it was, it was terrible. You know the bad part? I'm surprised we even On that it. one, my brother lost his shoe. And then I went to find it, but then he found it and I was still looking for it. Well, yeah, can you terrible. imagine, can you imagine being that cold and then you lose your shoe? Uh, and then you have like soggy socks this morning. I have not lost my shoe once. I went home with my parents that day because I was like, no, nah, I can't be here. But I also did bring Capri Suns and you know. candy bars because mm -hmm. I'm just would like that. But this year it was real. It was much nicer this year. It yeah. was way nicer. There's a little bit of wind, but that was it. No, there was, was not much wind either. Yeah. The only bad part, I was actually gonna run Regions, and then when it came to Regions, I was sick. Yeah. Because I was, because I asked Mrs. Mrs. McNeil, she thought I was ready to go up to G JV and run regions. And she was like, I think that's a great idea. So I was going to do it, and then I got sick. That's rough. I mean, Wait, and next year you can only run JV? No. Next it's year. you get into ninth grade, that's when. Yeah, oh yeah. But I think we'll all, I think, <laughs> I think we'll, I think we'll all probably end up moving on to. To J JV by next I just year. stay yeah. in my little area. Nah. Um, you want to know how I got into cross country? Hmm. So I was, it was the Caden Miller thing. Mm -hmm. Hitchcock, the memorial thing. And it was the 5K. And it was the, like the whole section. Mm -hmm. And then I ran that. And I, I like, me and Patrick were like the closest ones. And I beat Patrick in round there. Mm -hmm. Um, at first, Mrs. McNeil, because I had Mrs. McNeil's number, and so I was texting her, and I was like, okay, this is what I'm thinking. I think I'm going to do cross country. Am I, like, because I didn't know if I was going to be able to do it. Okay, and I very much doubt myself all the time. And so I was like, I'm going to try out one practice. If I don't like it, I won't do it. If I like it, I'll do it. And you kind of, like, maybe liked it at first? I had, okay, so everybody's first practice was, I was not there. Everybody's second practice was my first practice. Mm -hmm. And then my third practice, oh, you guys' third practice was my second. And that's when I finally was like, actually, I think that this would be something good for me to do. Mm -hmm. um, 
on my first practice ever, I told my mom that I didn't want to do it, and she said, I don't care, you're going to try it another time. If you still don't like it, I'm going to make you run a race, and then if you really, really want to, you can stop. And I ran my race, and I loved it, so. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that oh, was, was think, it Redfield? Yeah, to think that if my mother wouldn't have told me to run a race and see how I felt, I wouldn't be doing this. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Yeah, also, cross country has helped me so much. Like, yeah, I have like I have so much free time after football, and like after football, there's still more cross country, and it's like I'm not fit for basketball then at all, and like my endurance would be so low, like low right now if I I didn't run cross country I think it's um, also like oh my god I lost got anything Eddie yeah I would not be oh that's what I was gonna say can someone can we talk about the factor of Brecken getting the memo this week and not last week Oh, I was at weightlifting. I know he didn't do anything wrong. It is a oh, poor little child. Hey, I had that. I had that sweatshirt that you have on last week. I have that kind of sweatshirt. What are we gonna do with Brecken? Oh, what are you do with you guys? You want ice spice looking? No, we're first seasoning. I know, but we're so making sure. Ice spice looking. We're making sure. We're just. We're just gonna make sure. We're just gonna. We're just okay. We're just. <laughs> you had to do that right in the microphone. <laughs> we're just gonna. Um, I, I heard that. Again. What? I didn't say anything. I heard that. What? Fudge. Chill. Sure. I like fudge Close. nuggets. Fudge nuggets are really good. Have you ever tried them? <laughs> How do you just there? <sighs> I don't even know what fudge nuggets are. Justin, here, come here quick. Come here, come here quick. Tell her or ask her. We just had an intermission. Justin's gonna go look for someone. Please don't annoy my singing. It's kinda sucky. Yep. Yeah, alright. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Small intermission. Our special guest, Woo! cheer from Miss McNeil. Um, pretty much we've just been talking about all of this stuff. Do I have to put this on? Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, I get to. Yeah, you get to put this yeah. on. Oh boy. Yeah. Is it a little loud? Hi. No, right. I'm Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're gonna ask you some questions. Ready? Mm-hmm. Take it easy. You're getting interviewed. Yeah. We've only had a cup of coffee so <laughs> be, gentle. be gentle okay we're just talking about how you're like the most supportive person ever mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> what's your least favorite um, <laughs> track yeah. well, course. least favorite course, course. We, I, I guess we, I don't know that I have a least favorite. I think we all said folk, didn't we? Yeah, we all <laughs> said <laughs> that's always your guys' least favorite but yeah. I, it's one of my favorites why is it work out um, Just because I feel like m- most of the kids run really well there. I think it's uh, it's a very intimidating course. Yes. It's very, very hilly for what we're used to running. Mm-hmm. Um, and in the years that I've coached, um, I think I've seen more kids run their like really good times there. And mm-hmm. I think that's 
like the mental part of things that yes. kids overcome that. Um, and I appreciate the fact because I it's it's a it's a very intimidating course, but. I think afterwards, it's for the most part, all of my run runners have be felt very satisfied after they've run there because it is it's it's tough. Mm -hmm. I feel like it definitely pushes us to be like better. Like it, we have to push ourselves to finish that. Yes, which I feel like definitely makes you feel more accomplished after it being done. Yes, the first time I took kids there, um, it's been a while, but so <laughs> Presley's Binger's sister mm -hmm. Lamore ran it and I actually I had never seen a course like that I know I didn't run cross-country myself so when I took kids to that one I was like oh my gosh I kind of felt bad that we were running there <laughs> and when she came through <laughs> the finish line she goes I taste blood and I was like <laughs> that pretty much sums up that course I think yeah but she ran her best time oh, really? I, most a lot of kids run well there Mm -hmm. And I think they just mentally are prepared to run it. That's they get in their head a little bit, and they're like, "I know I can do this," because they know it's going to be a mental feat. And I, and I think that that's that's probably one of the things that I think is the best. About I think the funniest talking. one about like with with cross country was when Josiah went to state. My mother goes, "Come on, Josiah, you can do it." He goes, "No, I can't." <laughs> <laughs> and then he ends up placing. Yeah. Well, like not. But Not but placing like, top 20, but, but like he ran out of his mind. 47? Do you guys ever feel that in the race? Like, I can't do this. And oh, then you can't. And then, through. yeah. I thought it was funny. I did that though. once, and then I just, I just passed, like, seven kids I placed. Or right. there's, like, or there's, like, okay, so Josiah's running cross country, and he's like, I need water. Okay, Bethany opens the water, tries to hand it to him. He, like, swerves out of the way. So, so then she's running, and instead of putting on the cap and running over to me to get it to me, she left the cap open. And so there's water spilling everywhere. <laughs> I ran, like, as fast as I could trying to catch up to him. I was right behind him, but I couldn't get him because he turned the corner. So I gave it to Dad, and I was like, you're getting this to him. And by the time it got to him, there was, like, that much water left in the bottom of the bottle. <laughs> so how about you? You feel that? Oh, Tell me a time when yeah. you felt that. Don't I fall then? Yeah. <laughs> I was going down the hill, and I'm like, I'm just gonna, just, I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go I'm to man. camp. I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> I was so done. I'm like, once I get back, I'm just gonna go eat something. I'm gonna have the best meal of my life. It will, I don't know. After cross country, everything tastes good. It's like I better than everything. hibachi or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a uh, cook made it like specially for me. Like gas station food t usually tastes not that good. A minute after a cross country race, it tastes like heaven. Those mm -hmm. those yes. pickles in a bag. I mean, they <laughs> hit different <laughs> after <laughs> cross country race. What do you think? What's like m what I see kids come out of like mentally out of cross country? That's most satisfying to me as a as a coach. How about you guys? What do you what's like? I know you do things that you don't think you can do. Yeah, so, we were just talking about that. Yeah, so that's yeah, like I have a perfect thing for this. Okay. In Highmore, I was like, oh, JV's 5,000. I don't know if I want to run it. So then I said I was going to run junior high. But then I'm like, you know what? Just because I j I'll, just r I'll just run JV and it was 5,000. And, and you did it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I thought it was... I, I feel like there's some points in time where it definitely, running cross country definitely makes a difference because f you go from, I don't think I can do this, to I'll try it, we'll see if I can do it. Because you've done so many of those things where, like, this is a big course, I don't know if I can do it. Then you finish it up and you're like, okay, so maybe I could have done it and I did do it. So what does that mean about these other things that I've said that I can't do? So I definitely feel like it makes you try more things because. Was, okay. You're, because you're, you're, you more, like, you understand, hey, I know that you think you can't do this, but I think you can at the same time. Like, you're, it's definitely, it's definitely changed, like, how you act as a person, I feel like, because you don't say that you don't feel like you can do something as do you, much. So, so you take that mental aspect of cross country and you take it to other parts of your life? Yeah. Can you think of something that you've done that with? Um... Well, there's there's been a few things. Um, 
It depends because there's some. And you guys are pretty young, so mm-hmm. I mean, like, yeah. I like. I think the big ones are like. Um, I I like I used to not think that I could run in the mornings because it was too cold, and now I get up at like five when the sun rises and I go out and run because it's like you're running, but at the same time you just get to watch the sun rise up be- behind you or in front of you or beside you wherever it's at. Sure. And so I think, I think that's something different. Or like, um, like doing an assignment or something where it's like, I don't know if I can do this. Like this is three pages long. Then you're like, wait, I've done way worse. Right. I've gone through and I've finished way worse. So I can do this. Like it, it almost gives you more motivation to do more things. Good. Good. Mm-hmm. Um. Another thing I take out of cross country is the endurance, getting that endurance. Because sometimes I'll run a town route and a half or two town routes before football, and then I'll have to go run a 10-minute run. So, I mean, it works for me for sure. And it ha- it's like getting that extra little bit and finishing a place higher. Sure. And it helps me a lot, for sure. It gives you that push. Mm-hmm. How about you? Um, I went from, like, my fifth grade year always thinking that I was going to be, like, I couldn't even win an 800. And so I'm, like, my mom, when I signed up for it for track, she's, like, are you even going to be able to do it? And then I went and did it. And so now thinking that I'm winning, like, three miles is just insane to me because it's, like, I went from running from from just a simple 800 to three miles. And it's kind of incredible to see how I've built over the years and, like, even in basketball, it kind of helps for endurance because I'm like, some kids are like, oh, I can't do this condition. And I'm like, I've done way worse. This is a piece of cake. This would be a warm up in cross country. I am good. <laughs> mm-hmm. like, I can do this. We're just, I was just talking about the factor of I can't believe that if my mother didn't tell me to try out a race before I quit, I wouldn't be doing it. Because at first I was like, Mom, I don't know if I can do this. Like, it's long and it's hard and I don't know if I can do it and I have to do it with my schoolwork. And she's like, you are going to try a race and if you really, really want to be done after that race, you can be done. And so I tried a race and I loved it. And so I was, it's definitely, and I feel like that first race definitely gives you those first, like, the nervousness and then once you're done, you're like, that actually didn't suck. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And then you're like, I can do another one. Just yeah. keep on going with it. I accomplished something today. It kind of feels good. Yeah. Can I do it again? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I think the worst one, though, is... I think the worst feeling ever is when someone... And, like, you finish, and the person that you've been catching up to and running with and stuff like that for It's it. 9.52, so we will have to wrap it up, and we will maybe... Continue on a little later today? Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Fun having you. Yeah. (laughs) We're signing off. Well, you know, we can always talk cross-country.